Hey everybody, it's Michael Buckley from The Weather Buck Show, and you are watching Batteries Not Included! So you wanna know what it's like To live like a man You're in love It's selfish, yeah Batteries Not Included well, I'm not really sure how to follow up Michael Buckley with the intro. He did a great job. All I'm going to say is this is Batteries Not Included. It is August 2nd, and we're going to try to be controversial. Not really, but there is two versions of this video because I am trying to change things up a little bit. There's actually a scripted version of this video as well, and there will be a link to that down there. It's not listed, but it is scripted, and there's a link, and you can go watch it because I left it unlisted because I just wanted to try it and see if you guys like which one better. Not to mention I am a little sick today and I have what everybody's calling the VidCon flu because it seems like everybody that went to VidCon got sick afterwards probably from all the drinking and the screaming and the sex with random people. I'm just, I No, that couldn't have anything to do with it at all. So what I'm going to do to try to make myself feel better is I'm going to start a new segment on Batteries Not Included called Tubers Gone Wild. So when I need a little, uh, you know, pick me up, I'm going to throw this in there. Oh, you're back. That was almost embarrassing. First thing we're going to talk about today is the Halatial, uh, how I don't even know how you pronounce it, telescope finding oxygen in space. And I don't know how they know this is oxygen. It looks like a picture of a couple of red blobs to me. But hey, these guys are smarter than I am. One thing that I thought was interesting about this is because God supposedly created life, which I also assume that he created aliens at the same time that he brought people to Earth. If you don't know what I'm talking about, the Vatican actually owns more telescopes for looking at the sun than anybody else in the world. I don't know about you, but my mom always told me that it was bad to look at the sun because you'll burn your eyes out. Thanks for talking about There's a new company out there called Bedphones, and I'm thinking that this is the best form of birth control that I can see to date when you don't have to take a pill or get your snippity snip snip snipped. What Bedphones has done is they've actually created a headphone that you can wear in bed that's not supposed to be uncomfortable. I'm a guy that likes to watch TV when I go to bed. Some of the ladies don't like to watch TV. Usually I just kick them out of my room, but if you have these Bedphones on, they won't be able to nibble on your ear anymore or whisper you sweet nothings, which means you're probably not going to have sex anymore, so you got to find a compromise. You're hey, somebody do me a favor, throw those ladies some beads. The magazine that I always post pictures of hot, hot, hot chicks on the cover with titles like My Vagina Itches and Ways to Prevent VD is now making a man's magazine. But it's not just a man's magazine. You're going, why are you talking about this on Batteries Not Included? We talk about technology. This magazine will only be available on the iPad. It's not something you're going to be able to get a paper copy to. It's $20 a year, and it's going to be called Cosmo for Men, which I don't think is going to be a great thing because GQ is out there. And honestly, we got Playboy. I mean, what, what do we need Cosmo for Men for? They've got like tips and tricks and stuff in there, and they always have pictures of cool motorcycles. Well, that's Pentos. Well, you know what I'm talking about. So we got magazines already for guys, but Cosmo decided that they wanted to make a man's magazine. All I gotta say is don't put a picture of some sweaty guy on the cover because nobody's ever gonna buy it then. The last thing we're talking about today is pregnancy announcements on Facebook, which seems like an okay idea until you consider the 15 to 20% miscarriage rate that there actually is. When you consider the miscarriage rate, this actually becomes the worst idea since the it's complicated button when it comes to relationship statuses. The other thing about this is you already get all those annoying pictures in your newsfeed of women that you know that are pregnant taking pictures of their belly, which kind of creeps me out a little bit. I'm not going to lie, but I still love to rub those bellies when I see them. I don't know why. It, I know I'm weird like that. Anyways, that's all I got for you. I'm batteries not included. I did create a Facebook page while I was out of VidCon. You can hit the link down there if you want to join my Facebook fan page. I actually posted some stuff on there that I'm not going to post anywhere else. From VidCon, so if you want to see that content, you gotta go to the fan page in order to see it. Don't forget to share this video with your friends because you know sharing is caring. Hey guys, Daily Grace here. Don't forget to like this video, leave a comment, and subscribe because what the fuck else are you doing with your lives? Thanks for watching. I just want to say thanks to Michael Buckley and Grace for doing my intro and outro for this video, and I've got a lot more of them to come. So thank you guys very much. There's also going to be a few changes made in my channel just because I want to kind of change out my content a little bit. And I'm not really sure what I'm going to do yet. So like I said at the beginning, there is a scripted version of this show, which is down there. And you can go and click on the link and go see it. I actually made two. I know. I had to edit two videos for this just so I could try something out and give you guys an opportunity to see this in two different lights and see which one you guys like better. Can't fucking talk.